may concern po. Um, um, meron lang sana ako, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, na opening statement. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Senator J.B. Esito, um, Senator Wynne Gachalian. Uh, good morning as well, our resource speakers, and to everyone here today. I would like to manifest my support for policies being implemented in the bills being considered in today's hearing, in particular Senate Bill 1530 or the Automatic Income Classification Act for LGUs. Ang ating lokal na pamalahan ay mahalagang sangay ng ating gobyerno. Sila ang pinaka nadarama ng ating mga kababayan at nakaunawa ng kanilang pangailangan. Habang tayo dito sa Senado ay nagsisikap na ipanukala ang mga batas na tingin natin ay makabubuti sa buong bansa. Ang LGU po naman ang kadalasan na atasan na magpatupad ng mga ito. Pinatutupad nila ang mga batas na binubuo natin dito sa paraang tunay na makatulong sa mga tao. At para magawa nila ito, kailangan bigyan natin sila ng karampatang suporta. And there is no other clear and concrete support than providing them with the appropriate financial capabilities. The automatic income classification will be able to provide such resources which would correspond to the needs of a particular LGU. Their income classification will establish the entitlement of local officials and employees to salary and other emoluments among others. This would lead to a more targeted and effective implementation of social programs and services, thereby maximizing their impact to the lives of the people they serve. But as we tackle the automatic income classification of LGUs, let us not forget that the Constitution enumerated our local government to include our provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays. Ang pinagtataka po po minsan ang ibang mga panukala natin para sa mga LGU ay tumitigil lamang sa mga munisipalidad at nalalaglag na po ang mga taga-barangay. I want to know how the automatic income classification will redound to the benefit of our barangay officials and barangay employees, particularly of barangay tanods. These lowly public servants or ours are always placed as a second-class citizen in terms of benefits and emoluments. I hope that as we adjust what belongs to our LGUs, hindi natin makalimutan itong mga barangay tanod natin. Silang unang tumutugon sa mga hinaing ng ating mga kababayan. Panahon na para mabigyan din natin ang atensyon ng kanilang mga pangangailangan. Meanwhile, I would like also to manifest my support for the review of the composition of our school boards under the proposed 21st Century School Board Act. Maraming problema po at katiwalaan sa ating education system ang nag-ugat sa mga school board. Dapat po talaga repasuin ang komposisyon nito upang ang mga matatalaga dito ay ang may mga puso para sa ating mga estudyante at mga guru. We must remember that it is the policy of the state to ensure that all students, regardless of their background or circumstances, have access to quality education by promoting inclusive education through local leadership and accountability The government can address inequities in the education system and promote greater social cohesion and understanding. Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Sen. Rafi, for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, we have already finished the, uh, the first part, you po sa income classification. We're about to refer it to the technical working group. Kaya lang, baka meron kayong katanungan before we move on to the school boards bill of a uh, center win. Baka meron po kayong ano. Uh, while uh, Yusek Cielo and uh, Miss Pamela Kizon are here of uh, BLGF Radio FN also. Yung sa sweldo po ng mga tanod, matagal ko na po sinasabi to rito, ano hong balak uh, ng mga kinaukulan ungkol po dun sa allowance ng mga barangay tanod? Kasi nga po, karimihan sa mga barangay tanod, ang kanila pong allowance may 300, may 500 a month. At hindi naman po siguro sa yan mga bumuhay ng isang pamilya although some of them are volunteers, but still, uh, most of the time, or all the time, they put their lives on the line by uh, patrolling kasulok-sulukan po ng barangay. At kapag meron po mga kaguluhan, first line of defense are the tanods. Sila po ang sumasagot sa tawag ng tungkulin, mag merong kaguluhan, riot, may pagnakawan, etc. Kapag nagkaroon po ng abelya, sila po ang sinisisi. Nasa ang tanod, wala si tanod, etc. Si tanod palagi. And yet, ang binibigay sa kanila, bariya-bariya, 300 pesos, 500 pesos. Bakit po ganun? 
هذا بوان بالنسبه لي كيزون اوف بي ال جي سابي ال جي اف دي او اف Mr. Chairperson and Senator Tulfo, Senator Gachalian, the salaries or the allowances being given to the barangays are within the purview of the Department of Budget and Management. However, uh, we would like to take note that if the LG or the mother LG will be upgraded, then the barangays' allowances are also follows. Uh, on the issue of whether barangays are included in the reclassification, we have been uh, doing groundwork that barangays be included. However, uh, we are taking note that we do not have, as of this time, a uh, statement of receipts and expenditures of all the barangays. We partnered with the DILG, National Barangay Operations Office, but up to now, we only have around 18% submission of the SRE of all the barangays. And given that, we cannot have a reference point or values on how to classify barangays, Mr. Chairperson. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Rafi. Probably we can take it that later on if uh, uh, on a separate bit. Para naman tama ko kayo. Kawawati na ganyan yung ating frontliners sa barangay uh, uh, tanods and uh, barangay health workers. Probably it's about time that we uh, craft a bill that uh, would really compensate uh, these people. These are uh, the true frontliners of government service. Thank you, Senator Rafi, for your uh, for your concern. So now uh, there are no matters discussed in relation to the Senate Bill Number 1530. We shall refer this already to the Technical Working Group. So again, we request our chairpersons uh, to submit all the position papers, no, so that uh, it can already be reviewed uh, prior to the TW, TWG. Okay, so thank you again. So we will move on to the next uh, bill that you'll take up this morning, the 21st Century. School Boards Act, Senate Bill Number 155 and Senate Bill Number 163, and the expansion of the use and purpose of the SEF, uh, Senate Bill Number 110 and Senate Bill Number 1190. So we shall now consider the bills of the 21st Century School Board Acts, filed by uh, Senator Win Gachalian in uh, this representation. So if we can already hear the Position of the following agencies, DepEd, DLG, DOF, DBM, DSWD, marami pala, CHETESDA, PSA, and the leagues, and the SKs. So probably we can already proceed. Uh, Orson Wynn, uh, as the author of uh, this measure, you have uh, any statement? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you very much for considering this bill. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, one of the most underutilized bodies in the local government units are the local school boards no? and the local school boards over the years have, have been relegated to just a uh, budgetary and uh, a body that decides on where the SEF should be spent. No? Uh, it has nothing to do with what education policies at the local level uh, should be done and implemented. Uh, a lot of our local school boards are just mechanical in nature. They meet, they discuss about the SEF, and that's it. So the aim of this bill, Mr. Chair, is to uh, increase the responsibilities and the participation of the local school boards in our localities in terms of education policies. And some of the salient points of the bill, Mr. Chair, and if you allow me, is number one, to expand the membership of the local school board. Uh, we believe in the adage of uh, it takes a village to raise a child. So we need to uh, include the public in the um, in the discussion of education policies uh, at the local level. We also expanded the responsibilities of the local school board. Uh, just to just an example, we include performance-based discussions there. Now, for example, dropout rates, participation rates national achievement test, uh, all of which should be discussed uh, within the school board so that the school board will know exactly the, uh, the, the school board will know exactly what's happening uh, in their locality. Uh, number three, the expansion of the use of the special education fund. 
uh, we also include that in the bill. As an example, the, SE, the expanded SEF can be used for interventions such as tutoring, remedial classes, uh, spending for alternative learning system. Uh, so it's important that uh, the SEF uh, will be expanded so other um, intervention programs can be funded. Another feature of the bill, Mr. President, is to institutionalize the school governing councils. Uh, the local school board uh, um, is present at the provincial, at the uh, municipal and the LGU level. But we all know that the battleground is at the school level. No? So we need to institutionalize a governing body at the school level that is also participative, meaning uh, the community is involved in the management and the discussion of problems in their schools. No? So these are just a few of the features of the bill, Mr. Chair. And uh, as the chairman of the education committee, I saw a big gap between national and local education policy. So the proposal aims to bridge that gap, you know, to make uh, the LGUs more responsive, more responsible uh, and, and uh, accountable uh, to the education issues of their own locality, Mr. Chair. So that's, those are the features of the bill and I thank the chairman for again uh, considering this measure. Thank you, Asen Win. I think uh, it's a very good. This bill has very good intentions to make the school boards more proactive. In a paper by the late Jesse Robredo, uh, entitled "Inventing School Boards in the Philippines: uh, Problems, Problems Raised During the Philippine Public Schools in Decision Making," is uh, ang sabi niya is uh, decision of the LS local school board is confined to its most powerful members, the chief executive and the school superintendent. So at least uh, with this bill, I think uh, it will make the local school board more active and uh, more um, more uh, significant no? uh, in the concerns of the education system. Thank you very much for your, this bill. Um, Sen Rafi, oh, oh, we can continue. Maka meron kayong nga, before we continue, okay na po kayo? We'll... Uh, uh, nakalimutan ko lang pala maitanong uh, kung sinong sasagot. S sino pong nagsaset ng uh, amount of salary that will be received by barangay tanod uh, on each barangays? Kasi po, may mga barangay na ang tanod ay tumatanggap ng 300, may barangay 500, may barangay ng 1,000. Anybody? You guys didn't come here prepared. Ano po? Mr. Uh, Asik Doni Puno from the DILG? You don't know? Sir? Uh, the reason why I ask this, para naman uh, makagawa kami ng batas kami sa Senado in aid of legislation, that's why we're asking these questions para kami po'y makapag-decide yes. kung uh, paano po ang gagawin namin struktura yes. uh, para doon sa pagpapasweldo sa mga tanod. Yes. Like I said, ulitin ko, may mga tanod na 300, may mga tanod 500. Ngayon, yung nakakasweldo ng 300 pesos, believe it or not, ito mga tanod na ito na pipilitan ko minsan na maging korap. Yes. Na manguhuli dap para mapunuan yung kanilang mga pangailangan. Kung minsan, eh, nagtitinda pa ng mga illegal na mga, kung ano ng mga bagay-bagay dyan. Because, wala silang salary. Natutokso sila. So, can you answer? Thank that? you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Uh, Senator Tulfo, that's probably a matter that I'll have to clarify with the National Barangay Operations Office, which is under the DILG. We were talking amongst ourselves here with the USEC uh, about whether it's DBM, uh, but for of clarification, I will go back to the NBOO regarding this matter and uh, with the permission of uh, Senator Tulfo, I will uh, get the answer to you as soon as possible, Senator. And another thing is, walang mga work benefits sa mga tanod, kahit man lang sana health benefits, SSS, appeal health. Kasi, I, I know, karamihan sa kanila ay co-terminus kay chairman. Pero dapat yan yung mga bagay niya na pwede natin baguhin na ipoprofessionalize na natin yung mga tanod. Because again, like I said, they're the first line of defense. Uh, kapag may mga problema, silang unang takbuhan natin. And then, uh, force multiplier din sila ng PNP. So, nagagasgas po sila, pero yung sweldo na tatanggap nila, it's not worth it doon po sa trabaho na ini-input nila para sa barangay. So, nakikita ko po, dihado palagi mga tanod, samantalang sila chairman, pasintabi kila chairman, kila kagawad, may mga budget, may mga uh, pera yan pa budget para sa mga project and yet 
ito mga tanod, wala kaawa-awa sila. At kapag pupunta ka po doon sa kanilang bahay at kapag uh, during their duty, minsan po naabutan ko sa Barangay Hall, ang ulam po nila, sardinas. Kanin, sardinas, kuminsan, tuyo, kuminsan, toyo. Kanin. Totoo po yan, kamatis. Ang nakita ng dalawang mata ko po, Mr. Chair, kanin, nag-duty sila ng gabi, nagpasyala ko. I think this was uh, during election, napaikot ako. Uh, kanin, tapos toyo, may, as, may uh, kamatis, and sili. Yun ang ulam ng mga tanod. Eh kasi paano? Ano mabibili sa 300 pesos a month? So, dapat yun po ang naging concern ng DLG. Yun po dapat tinututukan din natin yung kapakanan ng mga maliit nating kababayan na kung sino talaga nagpapapawis. Pasensya na po. Samantalang yung mga taga-DLG natin dyan, nasa aircon opisina, eh, for all we know, baka crispy pata, mga ulam, fried chicken, o lechon baka, etc., etc. Yung mga talot na tatrabaho, di ba? Uh, who keeps our uh, barangay safe. Nakakatulog tayo ng mahimbing kadalasan dahil nandiyan yung mga talot nagbabantay and yet, we don't take good care of them. Paano pong paliwanag nyo dyan, Asik Puno, sir? Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I will discuss the matter with the NBO, the National Barangay Operations Office, and I'll make sure that these, uh, the information is sent to you as soon as possible. Pero pinagtatap ko lang po, matagal na po itong practice eh. Hindi pa po ako, Senador. Palagi ko nang paulit-ulit sinasabi ko sa radio program ko, and yet wala nakaka-pick up sa inyo na, oo oh, oh, nga naman, tama nga naman, kawawa naman itong mga tanod. Eh, gawa natin ng paraan, tasa natin ng alawas nila, bigyan natin ng work benefits. Bakit wala po nakakapag-isip ng ganun, sir? Uh, I'm sure, uh, uh, Your Honor, that uh, well, the one in charge po kasi ng, uh, ng barangay, si uh, Yusak Chito Valmosina, who hang handles barangay affairs for the department. I'm sure he, kasatag ano rin po siya, he was a, uh, sa barangay din po talaga siya, no? So, I'm sure he's, he's focused on these matters as well, and I will relay your concerns to him. I know Yusak Valmosina is a good yes. barangay chairman. He, he was the barangay chairman of yes. District 2 sa Quezon City. I know this gentleman. It's good. Pero ang, sa akin na sana, sana matuloy na ito at sana noon pa pinag-isipan na natin ito. Hindi yung, kung hindi pa ako magsalita ngayon, wala sanang magkapag-isip sa inyo na tutugunan yung problema ng ating mga tanod. Yes. And believe it or not, marami sa ating mga tanod na didisgrasya, nasusugatan, namamatay pa. And then, ano pong binibigay na tulong ng barangay? Wala. Wala talaga. Ang nangyari, yung politiko, mayor, congressman, governor, yun yung sasalo. Then, Of course, yung mga barangay at yung pamilya indebted na doon sa politiko. Dapat hindi. Dapat eh, meron talagang sariling benefits at uh, budget yung mga talod, mga taga-barangay para maging totally independent sila yes. hindi sila beholden sa mga politiko. Kasi during election, yan po sila nagagamit. You, you follow me, sir? Yes, yes, uh, Your Honor. And I'm sure the department has taken notice of all of this, which is why the office of uh, Yusek Chito is... Uh, There's a position for it, the, the, the Undersecretary for Barangay Affairs, and I'm sure Yusek Chito is taking care of all of these concerns, Your Honor. And then, siguro, sir, uh, Asek Puno, uh, bigyan niyo po kami uh, ng mga guidelines kung paano po ang dapat pasweldo sa bawat barangay, uh, yung sistema naging compensation nila, and then uh, we can come up with a legislation para matugunan yan at maibigay yung para sa mga tanod kung ano yung para talaga sa kanila. Yes, Your Honor, we'll comply. Thank you, po. Thank you. Thank you, po, Mr. Chairman, Thank Your you, Honor. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Sen. Rafi, actually, maganda po yung pinunto nyo. It's about time na pag-isipan natin kami po ni Sen Win. Naging mayor din kami. Talagang uh, yung mga sa barangay, BHWs, no? All vol voluntary din yan. Allowance din. And uh, barangay tanods, talagang uh, siguro it's about time. Doon po sa BHW side, nag-file na tayo ng bill uh, under the health. Siguro it, uh, itong barangay tanods. We, it's about time we address their issue. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, uh, Sen. Rafi. Ang, ang ano nga nito, Madam Chair, when I was talking about Tanod, isa lang pong tumitingin, lahat sila nakayuko. Because parang wala ata kayong concern. When I talk about the Tanods, all four of you girls, I'm sorry, I don't have anything personal about you and I don't know you personally. Parang hindi kayo interested dun sa topic ko about dun sa compensation at benefits ng Tanod. Lahat kayo umiling, lahat kayo nakayuko looking somewhere else and he's the only one who's looking at me so dapat maging ano rin po kayo attentive kayo dun sa topic ng mga malita ng kababayan wag lang po yung topic ng mga topic na may kinalaman kila chairman topic na may kinalaman sa mga malaking tao sa barangay you should also be concerned about the little people 
di ba? Kasi when I was talking about tanod, none of you were looking. None of you were attentive doing something else. And this is important for me. Malaga ito mga tanod. Malaga sa yung papi na ginagampanan nila. Di ba? Nung panahon ng pandemya, sino yung frontliners natin? They should be considered as heroes. And yet, when I was talking about tanod and about their benefits, eh kayo po ay hindi attentive at ito lang si Asik Puno ang nagikinig at Ipit pa yung sagot ni Asik Puno. But anyway, yun lang po, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, San Rafi. Uh, be rest assured that uh, we will think of uh, already uh, hopefully institutionalized na talaga ma- maano na natin makonsern na yan. And especially yung frontliners, the BHWs and uh, Barangay Tanods. So we move on to uh, to the consideration of uh, the bill on school boards. Uh, first is DepEd, Attorney. Tara Rama eh, or Ms. Hilda Santos uh, for your uh, agency's uh, posi- uh, department's uh, position. Yeah. Good morning, um, Honorable Chairperson and uh, Senator Rafi Tulfo and Senator Wynne Gatralian. Although I apologize, Senator Rafi, with regard to the um, discussion earlier, um, uh, for this uh, expand, uh, expanded, um, expanding this special education fund, generally, uh, Mr. Chair, um, we support uh, these um, bills that were um, going to be uh, drafted. Uh, as of now, po, um, I am informed that the legal service is currently um, consolidating all the inputs uh, from the Department of the Offices for this uh, bills. Um, but uh, I also would like to request that the... Uh... At yan ang bagong balita sa bagong umaga ng bagong Pilipinas. Ito po si Leon D.C. At ito ang World News Report. Rewind. React. Respa. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click notification bell for more updates.